Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Yee's 8 Lacrimosa of Donna. Alright, so theoretically we have the ability to go anywhere in the Island of Siren. Somehow the primordial threat has been, I don't know, not quite negated, but definitely alleviated. So we can go anywhere we like. Uh, we've explored most of this stuff. Oh, it looks like we have a... I didn't actually see that before. The Nameless Coast. Huh. Um, that's the training area, I think. Maybe it is the Nameless Coast where we need to train. Let's find out. Let's mark this and go here. I mean, Nameless Coast is, like, back in level 15, right? Something like that? Let's look at the map here. Okay, so it's on the beach, for sure. I mean, this guy is like, no threat to us right now. We just wipe him. Yeah, totally wiped easy. So where's our guy? Our guy is... Over here. I mean, so we might as well grab the coconuts. I mean, it's theoretically it's Adol could do with that, but whatever. Just wreck it. Wreck these guys, and what we want is this thing. Like the hell is this? Seren wheat. Why is that? Oh, that's not actually the quest thing we want there. Okay, for a minute there, I thought that was the quest. I'm like, what the hell is the Seren wheat got to do with anything? Um, it's right here. Oh, is a noble back? Because that's totally the ship the noble took, right? I totally forget his name now. Hey, Ed all. Does this wrecked book look familiar to do? Damn right it does. That's our boat. That's right. That's the boat the shore Carlin took. That's totally who that was. Must have drifted all the way here. Seems like a waste of a good boat. Can we fix it up and use it? Hmm. Maybe we can if we replace what's broken. But what would you use that boat for, Ricotta? With a boat, I can go places I've never been before. Like... There. Okay. That island, huh? Might be possible to get there by boat. Yes, there could be more castaways there, too. She's right. Should we fix this boat at all? It might prove useful, after all. Okay, I learned the village. They had people bring all the tools and materials they needed. Whatever they assembled, they fixed the boat. Huzzah! Oh, so Sir, Sir Carlin is dead. Okay, for a minute there, I thought he was gonna... Well, actually, maybe he's not. So we can go on the boat. Yeah, board the boat. Sure. Go towards a small island, because there might be more castaways there. And we do need the castaways to clear up some stuff, so that's why we're here. Solitude Island, okay. Let's just explore and see what's here. So, Glowy is more Seren Wheat, or... What do we got? Engraved Pen. Well, we have a new gift for somebody. Engraved Pen. Who would be that? Okay, new location. That was easy. It's a pretty cool tree. Magna Carpa. Oh, what a beautiful view. Okay. It's a pretty tree. And apparently there's a... Something inside of it. Let's, let's just explore around the tree first before we go inside. Get the lay of the land, as it were. And there's nothing else here, it looks like. Oh, wait, here we go. There's a dude here. Oh, that's Sir Carlin. I'm so famished. I can hardly move. Need food. Need food. Dude, it's been like 30 levels, and who knows how many episodes have you saw him last. You? Sir Carlin? You're alive? Sir who? Right, that would predate Sir Kata. Maybe it humbled him. Maybe he'll actually do work now. Ha, huh, the hallucinations have set in. At long last, the end has come for me. And we might actually have food to give you. Sir Carlin. Um, it's really us. What? Have you truly come to rescue me? I nearly died with that monster sank my boat. I've been stuck on this island for days and not by filthy water to drink. If you're not a hallucination, then please, rescue me at once. He actually said please. Like, holy shit. <laughs> like, that's... That's a huge amount of growth for him to be able to say please. Sounds like you've been through a lot. But you've done well to survive this long. I admit you did cause a lot of problems for us. But in hindsight, that all seems so trivial now. Let's bring him back to the village, Adol. Alright. Everyone thought Sir Carlin drowned after being attacked by the Okeanos. 
But miraculously, though somewhat worse for wear, he was discovered living on a small island. And so with that all leading the way, Sir Carlin returned to Castaway Village. Okay. Well, that was easy. Ah, it's been too long. Oh, is that... No way, Sir Carlin, I thought he was dead. Well, this is quite a surprise. Ah, my dear friends, come to greet me, have you? Well done defending the homestead in my absence. Yes, well done indeed. I have mixed feelings about your praise. Oh, I can't believe we almost forgot what a jerk this guy was. As I explained before, Sir Carlin, we've nearly finished preparing a means of escape. But the primordial raids have become quite vicious, and we'd really appreciate your help. Huh? Why should I help you? I thought protecting the village was your job. If you're short-staffed, why not ask that belligerent captain of yours to contribute? Uh, right. You didn't tell him? No, we didn't have a chance. Listen, Sir Carlin. The captain passed away. Nameless got him after you went missing. Oh, I, I see. I wasn't particularly fond of him, but... Uh, he was brave till the very end. Yes, of course. Anyway, Castor Village is in pretty dire straits right now. We need you to be more cooperative and stop being such a stuck-up jerk. Way to go, Dogi. Otherwise, you might not leave, leave this place alive. Hint, hint. I understand the situation just fine. Huh, the village has certainly become no less rude in my absence. Uh, where are you going? I need to be alone for a little while. I'm tired. If you'll excuse me. Hopefully less of a jerk. Hopefully he actually helps. Is he feeling okay? Who knows? Maybe he just needs time to let everything sink in. Well, he does seem a little different. Not by much, but a little. I'm glad he's safe, but he causes problems again. We're going to have problems. We need to be careful with him. Yeah, at this rate, we need to let the other villagers know he's back. You've done great work today, Adol. I'm pretty sure you're pretty exhausted. For now, let's all just keep an eye on Sir Carlin. Okay, rejoin Castaway Village for better or for worse. Anything good here? Uh, bring you some pure aura column. I have no idea how to get that. Um, okay, Franz wants something. You want wine, Kathy? Come on. The Eroded Valley thing, I don't know if we're going to be able to do anything about. But the other ones we should be able to do. I don't know if we have any pure aura column. Let's talk to Kathleen about this and see... Hey, Kathleen. When I first started smithing with the Oracle Column, I had a lot of trouble with it at first. But I finally have a pretty solid understanding of its properties. Now we can reforge your weapons so they're just as good as those made of pure Oracle Column. That being said, it took me a hell of a lot of work to get me this far. If you want me to forge Oracle Column armor, for example, it would take me a very long time just to refine the ore. Which is why I'm going to ask you a favor. I need to bring me some pure Oracle Column. High quality stuff, no impurities. I know this is asking a lot of you. But if I had some, I could make incredibly powerful armor like you've never seen before. You do me this favor, and I guarantee you guys won't regret it. It's going to be a challenge to my end, too. Thanks in advance. Alright, what can we do with... Do we have enough for any of this? We do have enough to get one upgrade. But that's it. I think we go wait all for sure. Get him to level 2. Alright, finished. All right, that'll help. I don't think we actually have the pure oil column. We can look and see. Uh, probably be rare materials, right? It's going to be anywhere. Like the great tree lumber we just picked up, undying flower, or a grass. I mean, it sounds cool, but yeah, it's pretty much the only place it would be. It's going to be anywhere. The rest of these, I mean, the dragon crust stone is there, and I guess. Maybe it's not in order. It's not in any kind of order, which is weird. It's all just kind of mixed in together. The essence stone's there, and yeah, okay. So we don't actually have any pure or column. I didn't think we did. It was worth checking just to make sure. It's definitely not a liquid material. It's not a solid material. It's not a fruit. It's not a meal. It's not ingredients for that meal. Okay. We don't have it. Um, then there's Kathy, who is here. That's Nia. Sahad is perfectly happy. 
Um, was Kathy up on the mountainside? Oh, here we go. Oh, the boat's actually looking really good. Look at that. Holy shit. That's something I want to discuss with you. Okay, what do you got, Kathy? Kathy? As you probably know by now, the ship construction is nearly complete. I know this isn't the right time for... Actually, never mind. This is the perfect time for a ceremonial ship launching. Oh, that should make everyone happy. Yeah, it'll definitely raise everyone's spirits. However, it's tradition to use white wine as ceremony ship launching. Obviously, it's going to be hard to find white wine in this island. But I talked to Thanatos, and he says he knows how to make something close enough. Apparently, you can make alcohol from fermented tree sap. Can you find three fermented sap for me? Sure thing. Thanks, Adol. If you need help, you should talk to Thanatos. He should have more information for you. Alright. Sorry I dumped this on you, but I really need that sap. With everything going on, please be careful while you're exploring. Fermented tree sap. I don't think we have that either. We can look, but I don't think that we have any of that. I didn't see it when we were looking through the rest of his stuff. It'd probably be ingredients, right? If it's going to be anything. I mean, you'd be able to make it out of honey, too. I'm just saying. We have a shit ton of honey. Like, for no good reason, either. It's probably a material. It might be a liquid. No, that's liquid medicine. It's not the same thing. Yeah, okay. Let's talk to Thanatos. He should be over here, usually. Um, where is he? Not in here. Is he upstairs, maybe? Oh, well, there's your request, too. Franz, what do you need for adventure needed? I've determined that you are a man in possession of considerable skill, such that you are worthy of christening yourself adventurer. All right, you're pretty skilled yourself. Oh, but I've yet to demonstrate to you the full extent of my capabilities. And you're everybody as perceptive as I hoped you'd be. It is because I acknowledge your skill that I've requested this favor from you. I recently discovered tracks not far from the village that have been left by a primordial. The creature may still be in the vicinity of its tracks. However, I see no need to involve the rest of the village in this matter. So what say you? Will you join me in tracking down this beast? Naturally, I expect you to fight the primordial should we find it. Ah, uh, sure thing. Let's do it. Very well. I should guide the way. Okay, this might just be immediate. Also, it might just be Adol, too, which might be a little tough. We can do it, though. Yeah, it's just eight. I'll know what else. All right. I saw the tracks around here. Well, good thing I upgraded Adol's weapon. Oh, yeah, those are big tracks. That's a big beastie there. More tracks. I can only observe one set when I first came here. Yep, oh, there's a roar. Oh, now there's three of them. Okay. Stay back, Franz. Our guests have arrived. I fear we may have bitten off more than we can chew. Um, we can't let a single one escape. Right, you are. I propose we evenly distribute our foes between others. Oh, three of them? How does that work? One and a half each? Best of luck to you. All right, sure. Is there actually three on either side? Um, he took that one. Oh, okay, no, no. We, yeah, he took two, I took two. Okay, they just tried to surround me. Oh, he roared. He roared. That's a dick move is what that is. Fortunately, they missed both of those. The roars, though. Bullshit. Bullshit. Fucking roars. It does hurt them, but... Yeah, wow. Okay, it's bad. There we go. That's what I wanted. Okay, good. I think... Oh, I didn't dodge that as well as I like. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. We we're kind of hitting both at once, kind of. Oh, damn it. Well, I made that work, at least. I got the skill up. One down. Two down. Okay. It worked out. Oh, there's another one. What the hell? Why did Franz... Franz failed me. Nullify those status effects, please. Alright. Franz took... He's supposed to take the other two... It looks like he failed. Oh, but I have I have both of my skills. Hold on. Hold on. I need to set that up again. Yeah, I have two set... No, these are... No, these are both sword impact. That was silly. 
Um, we've maxed out most of these. Sky Drive, we've got that one already. Uh, that's it, apparently, for all the ones that aren't maxed out. Okay, so which ones do we like more? Tornado is actually pretty good. I like the Tornado. It pulls them in and hurts them. So let's do that. Oh, I just not diving away in time. Oh, damn it. Come on, hit him hard. I mean, that seems to be working out pretty well. That was yellow moves for a couple of times there. I'm not sure exactly what's causing that. Yeah, go ahead and swing around, guys. No big deal. He's out. That's it. Skill fin Another one? Holy fuzzy cats. Why are there so many of these guys? All right, I need to heal for sure. Uh, give me a full potion. Yeah, there you go. I don't know how long this goes for. This is pretty crazy. There's like six of them now. Oh, I thought for sure I'd dodge that one. Oh, damn it. We're doing pretty badly on this one. Wow, okay. Now heal me again for... There, that'll work. Dodge, dodge! You fool. Okay, that just go nowhere. No, they both just whacked me there. Wow. Synchronized moves there is just bad. And fortunately, they're starting to build up paralysis on me here. Okay, one of them, I thought, stunned. I guess not. Kill me again. We're, to, we're going through a lot of medicine here. We have ability to make more, though, so I'm not too worried about this, but it is bad. Here we go. Wreck this guy, please. Just focus on this one guy. There we go. He's out. Oh, damn it. I thought I was going to dodge that. There we go. That's the dodge I wanted to build up to. Come on. There we go. Good skill finisher. Might as well pick up the coconut. If I can. No? All right. Well, we got him. That was rough, though. The beast raid finally quieted. I mean, it definitely felt like a raid. That was three waves right there. Oh, there we go. He defeated them, too. Good job, Franz. Oh, dear. I can scarce believe how many of these beasts actually appeared. My initial assessment was far too lenient. Please accept my most sincere apologies. Uh, I guess even you make mistakes, huh? This won't do. This won't do at all. And I solemnly promised my lord, too. Oh? What about? I would ask that you not reveal the details of this incident to Mr. Shloxia. In truth, Lord Roswell gave me one final order before his departure. He released me from my duty to serve him, so that I could serve his family from that day on. In his honor, I have kept a watchful eye on Mr. Zlaxia over the years. That is why I cannot afford to make a single error in judgment. I still have much to learn, I'm afraid. Uh, mistakes are your best teachers. <laughs> right you are indeed. I certainly can't give up now. Now then, having witnessed your prowess, I have one more favor I wish to ask of you. If it's not too much trouble on your part, can you assist me in thwarting this batch? <laughs> um, yeah, we can do that. Jolly good. Two arms in. Are they going to do a cutscene? Yeah, they're just going to cut. We've already taken care of them. No battle actually necessary. Thank you very much for helping me, Adol. One less thing to worry about. Agreed. But we should bolster our defenses all the same. Adol. Franz. Where have you been? I was worried about you. Ah, oh, my apologies. Our business took longer to resolve than anticipated. You don't really sound like you're t going to tell me what's going on. What have you two been up to? Look at you, Adol. You're covered in dirt and your collar is bent out of place. My word, what on earth did you get yourself into? With a huff, Laxie began to primp Adol's clothes. Okay, that's weird. This display calls to mind vivid memories of Mistress Loxia and her father. Oh dear, why would observing this give rise to such sentiments? That goes for you too, Franz. Hey, are you listening? Of course. And might I say you two are the ideal image of a devoted husband and wife. Uh, what, Tom? Franz, how dare you say something so, so unnecessary? Unnecessary is probably not the word she was looking for there. Alright, well, that was easy enough. Pumpkin pie recipe obtained. Don't know what that's going to do for us. Hopefully good. We do have some pumpkins, I think. 
Let's see. Um, we cannot make the... Oh, because we got it obtained. We didn't actually learn it. There. Now we learned it. There you go. And we can make it. It is... 2,500 in attack defensive. That's pretty good. We can only make one, unfortunately. <laughs> it's done. We're missing Sir and Wheat for that. Okay. We'll make the Mushroom Omelet, too. I guess I could have made a second Three one there, too. Meals a day. Yeah, there you go. All right. It's done. All right. Let's go talk to our guy here. We used a lot of medicine right there. Hello. Um, let's just do a regular heal potion. I think that's fine. There you go. Please take care. There. All right. So the other quest. Well, with our guys, let's see. We're twenty-three right now. So that's twenty-three right there. Okay. Let's mark that. Um, I'm gonna go from here. Or do you get, no, that's the, that's the that's the chasm. We don't want to do it from the chasm. All right, so yeah, go from here, and let's see if that actually gets us another um, another guy. It might not, but I'm hopeful. So it's inside here somewhere. We might need to go underwater here, I think. Don't remember exactly where this is. Oh, this is actually... This is totally... Yeah, this is totally her. Okay, good breaks. Unfortunately, we're not going to get much in the way of actual, like, the stuff we want. Like, we're not going to get any Dragon Crest stones from these guys, unfortunately. But this is the only way to go. Good breaks. They weren't able to spin, which is great. Yeah, eventually we're going to have to go underwater, I think. Let me look at the map here. Wrong map. Okay, so that's a place we haven't been to, it looks like. Let's look at the floors here just to make sure. Oh, it's just to open up. Okay. Well, it still might be worth it for the chest. We'll see. So it's actually up here. I think. Um, yeah, here we go. Alright, so we stay up here. No, no, we need to go downstairs. Uh, might as well defeat these guys anyway. Level 15, not a big deal. Um, that chest we already got to. I was hoping it would actually get to another person. Actually, there might be another person in the, uh, in the dungeon we found Sir Carlin on. There's a there's a dungeon in there, it seems possible. And Sir Carlin, of course, wouldn't mention it because he's a jerk. So it would totally make sense. Um, so we have our area over here. Oh no, it's over... It's through here. That's what it is. Alright, see if Sir Carlin helps. Crumblestone pillar blocks the way forward. Definitely make a help request. Okay, it looks like that is enough, and it looks like Sir Carlin helped without raising a fuss. <laughs> Holy shit. Thanks. I mean, it's just a chest. It might not actually matter, but we'll see. Maybe it's some adventuring gear. Defense formula. Oh, so it's a recipe for um, for the doctor to use. Interesting. All right. Well, that's good and all. Uh, we don't need to be here anymore. So there was an island over here on the Nameless Coast, right? So we can teleport here. I love that we can teleport to stuff now. Okay, so now we go inside. We found Sir Carlin. Did we actually explore the entire... Did we go all the way around? I don't think we did, right? I don't think there's anything else here. Yeah, okay. We're good. All right, let's go inside and see what we can find. We're pretty close to exploring the whole island. We're just missing a little bit. Oh, it's just uh, all right. Monolith fragment, sure. I don't know what the hell that does for us. Apparently, that's it. Just had a monolith fragment, nothing else. Okay then. What the hell's a monolith fragment? Um, equipment maybe. Thought maybe it'd be in here. If it's gonna be anything, it might be an equipment. It might be an accessory. Nope, not an accessory. 
arm would be weird. Doesn't seem right. No. All right. Is it like an attachment? No, it's not. It's not for her. Is it just an item for like... It's not adventuring gear. I wasn't exactly thinking it was, but it was worth a shot, I guess. Um, I have no idea. It seems like it'd be a rare item, if anything. Like, I don't know what the hell a monolith fragment is in for. Okay, well, that's explored, basically, so I don't need to worry about that. That is still requires 24. Let's see. So that means... Okay, so let's go for this. I think if we teleport here, that'll be close enough. And that'll be Master Kong, I do believe. So we can just drop. We don't need to worry about fall damage or anything. Oh, we will go underneath. But we don't want to do that. Um, we don't need to worry about killing the undead right now, so let's just go with this. Okay, so Master Kong, I believe, is going to be this way. Might be even upstairs. We already got all the treasure and everything else. So we want to fight these guys, we can, but really, it's going to give us so little benefit. At least worth it. They're going to be bothersome, but only a little bit. We need Loxia for this because of the insect repellent. It breaks, and let's go ahead and use insect repellent right here. Nice. Not so shabby. Oh, that's right, he spits at us. Uh, everyone else is too distracted to be able to deal with these guys, so it's all up to you, Laxia. There we go. All right, big guy here. Actually, it doesn't seem like Kong is here. Let's drop down this way. Oh, here we go. Oh, the big guy followed us, it looks like. That's unfortunate. Well, we could always use the level up, I suppose. This guy's level 55, though, so it's not going to be much. Unfortunately, they're going to be very distracted. Okay, that goes out. Eight all, you're up. Oh, I thought I'd be able to dodge that. Yeah, just hit him here. Good dodges, though. Works out. I did a break on something, but... Oh, man, just dodge. Move. God damn it, move. Oh, thank God for the freeze. I mean, the freeze didn't last very long, but I'll take what I can get. He did get stunned, so that's good. Okay, just build up this as we go, and sure enough, that takes him out. Man. We were still above him. He just a freaking tank. Still above him in level, and we just he just absorbed it all. Okay, this has got to be Kong, right? Can't imagine what else would be here. We've already explored this area, so it's got to be him. Or not? How beautiful. This place is rather calm. Yes, it is. Does it remind you of something? No, it's just... Even though we've been able to solve all these small immediate problems, none of that will actually matter if we fail to stop the Lacrimosa. Ah, uh, true, we may only be able to affect things take change on a small scale, but even small changes can have drastic effects on the course of history. Yeah, isn't that why you were making your changes, Donna? The same goes for us. We're doing all we can, because we're not giving up. Ah, you're right. I'm sorry, I just got a little discouraged. I made it this far with all of you, so I don't think my actions were in vain. As long as you're with me, I can... We'll face what awaits us together, no matter what. Yeah. Was that just a team building exercise there? Okay. That's all that was. Just team building exercise, I suppose. So there's another one over here. Um, I guess we go from here to that. Sure. I thought for sure it'd be Master Kong. Okay, well, we got it marked now, so we'll just go over here. I have no idea what we're doing. We're, we're moving. That's what we're doing. We're moving along. Actually, man, as you get a mid jump, it's rare. Right, these guys are. Yeah, they are weak to add all. Anything we can do to interrupt them is great. 
Unfortunately, again, these guys are not going to have the uh, Dragon Crest Stones we want. Unless we get really, really lucky, which seems unlikely at this point, but it could happen, I suppose. Strange Mucus or Strange Mass are probably more than likely. Um, alright, hello. Yep, there's this guy here who's level 60. Oh, just the frickin' roar, I hate it. Get up at all, you frickin' lazy bum. Now, the stun didn't work, but the ice at least did. So we tried to surprise us here. Let's see if this has any Dragon Crest in it. No such luck. Just strange masses. We've been here before, right, as we were working our way down. That sounds familiar. Because we weren't able to do the, uh... Weren't able to go the other way. To get that little team building exercise first. Oh, Alright. Um, we could just run for it here. Like, we don't need to defeat these guys. We could, but... Okay, no big deal for that flash move. I think I'm going the right way here. Yep, just a little bit of a bop. And these guys are just gonna follow us, is the thing. We're just gonna get a mass of them. We do have some AoEs. Might as well go ahead and. Oh, excuse me. Freaking dodge! Just you won't get up. I mean, it's better not to get hit at all, I suppose, but still. Just really annoying to not be able to move at all. Alright, you guys are dealing with those guys over there. Okay, Praying Mantises, we can deal with those guys, no problem. Okay, good flash guards. Rare. Seems to be coming up more and more often as we just time things right. Alright, maybe we are getting some experience for this to make it worth it. My health is down a little low, but... I guess I could just stand still and let that recover. Okay, hello. Oh, damn, that was really bad. Okay, let's go heal push in there. It gives us most of the way up. There. Good skill finishers. Unfortunately, just... Not the drops we want. If this guy just drops Beast Hide, Ancient Hide, and Pepper. This guy drops Corn. Why does he drop Corn? Uh, we don't want to go that way. We want to go this way, I think. Oh, there's Kong. There he is. Okay, that's what I thought. Get away from this guy. Oh, that was a bad dodge. Alright, so who's left over to train? Do we have anybody left over? This might be the last training session. We'll see. Hello. Your last red hair. Okay, so it is that all. Okay, let's do it. All right, Master Kong, let's do this. Okay, he's charging up. Oh, I thought I'd be able to dodge that. I was wrong. Let's build up the SP. That's what I want to do. Oh, I did not dodge that either. There we go, that's the dodge I want. Yes, yeah, so you need to do that more often. Okay, he's building up for his big boost. Come on, hit me. Stop trying to hit me and hit me. You missed, buddy. You missed. And we got a flash guard on top of that, which is great. Oh, I keep missing up that one. Okay, hit me again. I can dodge this time, I swear. I, mean, I did dodge, but I didn't do the flash guard. I didn't do that one either. That was a cool move, though. There we go. Just saving all my SP for this kind of nonsense. Because that actually helps a lot. Okay, he's building up for his move. Stand back for this. Here we go. So I have time to dodge it. I mean, I did dodge it, at least. But I didn't do the flash guard or the flash move. Okay, he's backing up for this. Big deal. Look at that. That's the kind of moves we wanted. Unfortunately, I didn't have any SP for that. Let's go ahead and build that up. Oh, he's stunned. He stunned King Kong here. Shit, he's building up again. Alright, here we go. 
There we go. That's the kind of move we're talking about. He should be out. This should take him out. There we go. He's out. Didn't get a skill finisher, but still not too bad. A little low on health. Didn't have to use medicine, though. So, it's balanced out. Let's see, the match is over. And I'll try out the master skill. All right, so what's that skill? Oh, that's a cool move. Brave charge. All right. Uh, thank you for teaching me. Always good to be polite. Especially to a giant monkey. Master says, I didn't teach you. You learned it on your own. I'm sure he's just being modest. No kidding. Seems as each of the six of us have each learned a skill from him. What's wrong? Master? I have nothing left to teach you. But Rakota's mentor tells me that your village is in trouble a lot. If you want, I can help you. Holy shit, do we get this guy... Do we get this guy in our village? Is he the 24th? Really, Master? Help us? Does that mean you'll join us during beast raids? That'd be great. Yes, you're more than qualified. Don't you agree, all? For fucking sure? Then it's settled. I'll tell you your villages now. Okay, then. That's fantastic. You yeah, have us more help than I ever expected. Indeed. Indeed. One Master is worth 100. No, 1,000 warriors. Okay, Master Kong was fort during raids. I mean, I don't know if we have any raids left right now, but him being in the village, that might mean he's number 24. Let's look and see. No, he's not. How is he not number 24, though? That doesn't make any damn sense. All right, so the real question is how do we get up here? I don't know the answer to that. I have no idea. There's nothing else to explore from the looks of it. It's just this section up here that we have no idea how to get to. I mean, this is the chasm. So that's just down. So this is above. This is definitely on land. And we could try doing this again, but I'm pretty sure that isn't it. And really, it's just a matter of going out from here. So let's go to the camp. But I don't think this is it. We've already looked at this. But I'm going to look at it again just in case I missed something. See it with fresh eyes, so to speak. So go this way. But I mean, I don't see how there could be much there. Unless I just missed something. It could be it wraps around. It could be we get there from like the bridges or something, but I don't know. So it'd be up here if it's going to be anywhere. Okay, this is the pretty place we saw before. Was this here before? Oh, we don't have the climbing gloves on. Alright, change up the adventuring gear. We don't need to walk on water right now. Climbing gloves is fine. Come on. Maybe this wasn't here before. Um, Eternal Hill. It's one of the most ancient species of Saurian. This area seems slightly different from the others. A sanctuary hidden deep inside a forbidden area. Okay. This might be where we need to go, though. This might be it. Yeah, it's a brand new area to us. It's possible. I think we can fight this guy. He's only level 60. 63? We're 62. That's not, that's not so bad. We should be able to deal with this guy. He's got wings. It's a fucking dragon is what he is. Okay, and we fought this guy. This is this is the one we fought with Donna. Okay, he has new powers though. Okay, the electric power is a little bit of a jerk move there. Not expecting that. Okay, this should take him out. Oh, we didn't trade up the new skill for Adol. Okay, but he's out now. That was easy. Yeah, we didn't trade up our new skill. Let's do that. So, Adol, you were maxed out with Rising Slash. Tornado Sword, I like. So, I think we're going to keep that one. But we should definitely do Brave Charge. Although, I am currently hurting quite a bit. So let's do Heal Potion. There you go. Let's take out the other guy, if we can. We need to... 
Might not need to. I don't think he cares about us right now. There's no fishing spot he's blocking or anything. I think we're good. This guy, though. This guy's going to be an issue. He's going to definitely get in the way. Oh, okay, you got to watch that tail. Got to watch that tail. Got to watch everything. Remember to dodge. As dodging is not working, he's doing like a thousand damage. Holy fuzzy cats. Give me a full potion. And we need some kind of good defense against this guy. Okay, good ice. Ice is good defense. I like ice. There we go. That knocked him out. Okay, that was rough for sure. The first one was easier. Okay, 68. We've dealt with these guys before. 68 or no. Okay, he's going to do that move. Just some fireballs, no big deal. We just did a thousand damage on something there. I think somehow he missed me there. I'm not entirely sure how. Oh, damn, we need to like time that move exactly. That one's tough. Okay, the brave move definitely does a thousand damage. That was a big roar. Okay, big bada booms. Not a big deal. I got somebody there. Not me. Okay, time that. No, that was a bad timing. I got burned. I got burned. Hold up. Hold up. Give me burn medicine. There you go. And probably some food, right? Let's go for. I mean, break rates are not going to matter at all. Everyone's kind of got fire on them right now. We started to build up paralysis, so let's just do. Do we have anything else to nullify status effects? Yeah, here we go. The mushrooms. That's better. Does it for 2,000 as well. Good ice move. Oh, that was the that was the burn. That was the burn. I should have realized. Okay, he's gonna keep moving. There's a roar. Oh, it actually knocked me that time. Oh, I thought I got the dodge right. I didn't. I didn't, by the way. Just wondering. Did not get the dodge right. Well, thrust storm sparked. Didn't even know that was a thing. There. He's out. So we got Thrust Storm. I don't know what that means, but it sounds cool. So we already have Tornado Sword Max. Let's go for Thrust Storm. Okay. Now a Thrust Storm. It looks like this is exactly where we needed to go, though. So I think we just needed to do the... We just need to do the team building exercise, and we're ready to go. Most of the guys seem to have handled. There is somebody over there. I'm going to grab this chest first. Legend belt. That sounds cool. Oh, just essence stones. God damn it. All right. So let's see what the legend belt does. It's the wrong button. It'd be equipment. And it's got to be... Let's drop the hero cloak. Let's see what the legend belt... Extra when attacked. Okay. Sure, why not? We'll do that. Okay, let's see. I think this is our rescue, our last rescuee, though. And we were to different locations, so they're like right on top of each other. I think that's the last location too. So I think we can go turn into Austin and get our reward. Oh, what a beautiful view. We should verify that. See if we got 100. percent Here's our person. Hello. Hmm, is it possible? Were you passengers aboard the Lombardia? Are you nobility by chance? It's been a while, Griselda. Apparently we know her. Likewise, I know Krista. I'm impressed you still remember me. Those of you who are meeting me for the first time, my name is Griselda. I'm Governor General of Selstata. I'm surprised that you and I were aboard the same ship. Governor General of Selstata? Why does she look so familiar? The Governor General of Selstata is known for being a shrewd and decisive leader. For some reason, I never imagined them to be a woman. Governor General. What's that? I think it means she's some kind of big shot in the Roman Empire. She's very beautiful. Hi there, Griselda. Probably from like a previous game or something. Let me the courtesy of reintroducing myself. My name is Griselda. On this island, my title means nothing. Well, at least you're a noble who recognizes that your title means nothing on this island. Treat me as you would any other castaway. 
Oh, so Seldon was in the fourth game? All right, so that's good to know. Thank you, Lionheart. Forgive my impertinence, but have we met before? Oh? You bear a striking resemblance to a princess I meet at the Imperial Castle. A princess? Aha, <laughs> what an amusing antidote. Why would a princess claim to be the Governor General of Sosetia and I live in this castaway on this island? You'd sooner see a golden picker than something that outlandish. Wouldn't you agree, Adol? Ah, uh, sure, why not? We'll go with it. I see. I'm sorry for my presumption, then. Yeah, I must have mistaken her for someone else, I guess. Hmm. So what's the Governor General of Sosetia doing aboard the Lombardia? Yeah. Sosetia? I was returning from completing a routine inspection. I never thought I would find myself here, cast adrift on the island of Siren. I must say, I'm surprised to find the ruins of a lost civilization on Silent. After meeting Adel, I find myself more frequently indulging my curiosities. I've been on my fair share of adventures over the last three years, you see. Wow. Glad you haven't been harmed while you've been out here alone. Yes, well, I'm skilled enough with a sword that I'm capable of defending myself. Anyway, you seem to have a good grasp of the situation on this island, except... We know that fighting primordials, you need oracalcum in your sword, otherwise you're basically doomed. So good enough with the sword doesn't cut it anymore. Would you mind briefing me? Yeah, sure, why not? It'll just take you about three or four days, no worries. Alright, gave her a crystal ring with which to warp, so you can just warp directly back to the, uh, back to Castaway Village. I see. The situation sounds more dire than I could have imagined. Yeah, it's true, the entire fate of the world's like state. I imagine having more allies would be a asset to you during future beast raids. I would join you at Castaway Village. Great. That makes 24. Somehow Kong doesn't make 24, but that makes 24. Alright. Great. So now we can go ahead and go down here. Yeah, here we go. Can I just teleport? I can't teleport directly there. Alright, so we can mark this. Where is this exactly? Gravel and Waterwood Hills. Um, it's not the slum jungle. I think it is from here. Yeah, gravel at the Waterwood Hills. Okay, yes, it's Waterwood Hills here. So you just need to go north from here. That should be the 24 we need. And that'll explore the entire island. I think that's 100%. We should verify that. Because Austin will give us a reward. The timeline, the order of the games goes 1, 2, 4, 3, 5, 8, 6, 7, 9. Huh. So this game before... Four, six, and seven? That's super weird. I mean, I guess the timeline for the Zelda games is pretty much equally odd. Like, Breath of the Wild is supposedly the last game in the series, but... Um, it takes place immediately after the first game, I believe. So yeah, I mean... No one can ever tell stories in order. Ever. Ever. Uh, so it goes straight this way. Do we need to walk on water for this, or how's this work? Hold on. We need to go up this way. Oh, uh, so that's up. Okay. So we actually already explored that area, and somehow we didn't. I'm very confused. Oh no, I guess we just we just ran up against a problem area. That's what it is. So we just ignore all these guys. I mean, we pick up iron, stalactite's a big deal, but we don't actually care about any of these guys. They're not going to give us much experience. They're level 50-something. So let's go right past them. Let Lexia and Ricotta do what they will. And we'll just go straight. I mean, we probably need to fight this guy. Come on, really? Yeah, level 56. Come on, man. You're not going to do anything to me here. You might think you're going to do something to me here, but you're not going to. Stop bouncing. Okay, see that? That's annoying. Okay, well, at least I got the flash move off. That's something. Don't feel quite as worthless as I did a second ago. Freaking... Okay, we've got to have something. There's got to be something that lets me withstand those freaking roars. At least it just backs me up, which is something. At least it doesn't knock me down. Oh, that's right. Isn't it like a climb up here or something like that? I don't remember exactly. There is a double jump, and we do have the double jump wings. So that's fine. We can get up here. I'm trying to remember exactly what was this. We, well, we climbed up pretty high, but I don't think we need to do that. Maybe just down? 
Uh, can I? I can just drop, right? Yeah, good. Okay, let's see what this is. I think it might be. Oh, is this slope up here and then let's just go inside? Yeah, here we go. We definitely have 24. Huzzah, huzzah. Okay, everyone in Castaway Village. Oh, and this one has a cutscene. That's weird. Looks like we're all here. Gotta say. Feels like we've become one big happy family almost overnight. It has not been overnight. It's been who knows how many days. Uh, together we can do anything. Let's go with that. Yes. And now we have so many competent experts among us. <laughs> That's why clearing this gravel is going to be a breeze. This gravel is more compact than it looks. Good thing I brought this heavy duty shovel for just such an occasion. Let's take it for a spin. This will be excellent training. It's going to be tough if any speedy primordials suddenly show up. I think Ricotta and Rija, Riha, should keep an eye out for any. No problem, leave it to us. If anyone gets thirsty, let me know. I've been a great flash sale on fruit juice supply. All supplies last. Dina's selling stuff, of course. With so many people, we should finish this in about two hours. That means we'll finish around noon, just in time for lunch. Dude, I'm, don't mention lunch. I'm hungry right now. Everyone's so helpful. Uh, let's keep up the teamwork. Also, thank you, everyone, for helping out. Oh, ho, just leave it to me. All right, everyone, time to get to work. It's a weird cutscene. I guess it's the last one. Maybe that's why it was so special. The wind and rain helping to loosen the pile. They managed to clear it in no time flat. Did you make it in two hours? Did Rakata have her lunch? Don't leave us hanging. Thank you, everyone. And it does, in fact, lead to... Is this a dungeon, or... Is it just going to be a hole with a... Oh, it's actually a dungeon. Alright. How, how far does this go? Um, let's see. We can't tell. Huh. Well, shoot. Now I'm hungry. So I'm going to have to leave this. Thanks, Ricotta, for mentioning lunch. All right. Well, that'll do it for this episode. Thanks for watching. This has been Yeez8. I'm Peace Universe. You're Peace Universe 2. And I'll see you guys next time.